is Pat. It's a little after 7 in the morning on Saturday in late February. And as you can see, I've got my new engine, my Z10 engine over there. And Todd's in the back of the van starting to tear stuff out of the engine compartment. Uh, we're trying to tear out the engine this morning and uh, try to get it pulled out and do a little tranny. And then we'll go ahead and start to put the new Boston engine conversion slick system and come over here and take a look at the new Z-Tech, small flipperty. So I'll give updates throughout the day to let you guys know how this is progressing. 7.15 and uh, we're just getting started. Okay, I'm back. It's 11.20 in the morning and we are minutes up. away from lowering the engine out. So uh, things are going pretty smoothly so far and uh, check in later. Right, it's all disconnected now. Nothing's holding it except for the uh, the hoist here and the crappy uh, jack floor jack down below. That's about it. So this is just two minutes after the uh, previous message. About to lower it. What we get? A little bit more. Okay. Good. Oh yeah, we're free. It's beautiful. Right? Engine is lowered, and we're starting to pull it back out. All right, we got it out. Check it out. <laughs> It is about, I think, 11.30 or so. We got started at 7.30 this morning, I think. So, according to my math, that's four hours. Yeah. Pretty damn good. Yeah. All right, I just got back from a little lunch break. Uh, took the dogs out. It's uh, 2 o'clock. I haven't done anything since the last time I uh, checked in, showing how we had just removed the old engine and transmission. It came out very, very smoothly, and uh, I still have some more parts to remove. I'm going to be replacing the CV axles completely, so they need to come out. And then, as you can see also, the remainder of the wiring harness and any remaining pipes and essentially anything from the engine bay needs to come out. And uh, I also need to sort of neaten up in here a little bit so I can actually move stuff around so I'll be doing that over the next few hours checking in also okay it's uh, 3 30 now and uh, I managed to get everything in here cleaned up pretty well I feel like I've got some space again to work in which is always really important to me I get a little bit bothered when I don't have a good workspace and uh, I've also managed to remove both of the CV transaxles from the van since I'm going to be putting in new ones. The first one was a little bit of a, a pain in the butt to get out. Uh, Learn that you don't need to use the pick to get out. Absolutely every little bit of grime instead what you can do is sort of hammer in the six millimeter hex, uh, get it seated well and then uh, things just loosen right up pretty quickly. Also helps to have the space to be able to sit up in there and work rather than lying half on my back and also using a nice big long wrench helps uh, too. So now what I need to do is get back in track with following the the Bostig video uh, for the engine removal and get all this other crap, the wiring harness, remaining hoses and all cleaned out of here. Hopefully in the next hour or two, I will have completed that. And then uh, maybe it'll be time for a little din-din. Because -din. this is a sort of tiring work, sitting underneath there working like a monkey all day. But uh, it's coming along. It's going to be cool. Stoked. All right, I'm back again. It is, uh, you can't tell, but it's actually dark outside. 
I made the uh, transition from coffee to beer already and uh, pretty happy with the results so far. I have gone ahead and pulled just about everything you can imagine out of the, uh, the engine compartment here. You can see there's very little left in terms of the wiring harness. Uh, so those two AC hoses are going to get tucked up away. I'm going to come in here and clean this up, tie up the hoses and extraneous things I don't need. Uh, I was a little bit baffled about the wiring harness, but I called up Brady and sent him some photos from my phone and he walked me right through everything. It went really, really smoothly. So uh, I'd pretty much say that I have removed the engine and everything from the van. I'm going to spend a little bit more time neaten it up, but I'd say it's done. It's 620 right now. So first four hours, you know, to actually drop the engine and then a bit more time to uh, tear everything out. It turned out to be a full day. Uh, so I might come back and do some more work tonight on it. Maybe start to get the uh, training bolted on. We'll see how ambitious I am. Uh, yeah, it's coming together. It's good. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, forgot to show the wiring harness that I had torn out. You can actually see it here behind me. So that's the entire engine harness from the old engine. Uh, the VW harness. And that will be completely replaced by the new plug and play harness that Bostig provides. So uh, we'll say bye bye to the old harness uh, and hello to the new. <laughs>